Good morning. The topic that I'm going to discuss today is the McNamara's test for correlated proportions. So what is the McNamara's test for correlated proportions? This test belonging to nonparametric statistics is a chi-square test for situations when samples are matched. That is, they are not independent. This is a before and after design which is tested to find out whether there is a significant change between the before and after situations. The formula that we are going to use is chi-square is equal to b minus c squared divided by b plus c. Of course, for the chi-square, that is our chi-square test, for our b, that is the first cell of the second column in a 2 by 2 table. For the C, that is the first cell of the second row in a 2 by 2 table. For our example problem, consider the data below on seatbelt use before and after involvement in auto accidents for a sample of 100 accident victims. We have here our uh, uh, seatbelt worn regularly before the accident. We have there yes and no. And then seatbelt worn regularly after the accident, we have here our yes and no. For the uh, um, A value, that is Seatbelt worn regularly before the accident, yes, and after the accident, also yes, we have there 60. And for B, that is wearing um, seatbelt before the accident and not wearing after the accident, we have there 6, that is our B. For not wearing before the accident and wearing after the accident, that is 19, that is our C. And then not wearing seatbelt before and after the accident, that is 15, that is our D, okay? So for our column total, we have there for yes, that is 79, and for no, we have 21. For our row total, we have there for yes, we have 66, and no, we have 34. For the grand total of 100. So for our problem statement, is there a significant difference in the use of seatbelt before and after involvement in an automobile accident? For our hypothesis, for the null, there is no significant difference in the use of seatbelt before and after involvement in an automobile accident. For our alternate, there is a significant difference in the use of seatbelt before and after involvement in an automobile accident. For the level of significance, we are going to test this at alpha is equal to 0.05. For the degrees of freedom, we have there colo minus 1 times rho minus 1. And then we have 2 minus 1 times 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. For the chi-square, at 0.05, we have there 3.841. This is our tabular value. For the statistics that we are going to use, that is McNamara's test for correlated proportion. So for the computation, again, we will be using chi-square is equal to b minus c squared divided by b plus c. So we have there, our value of b is 6 and c is 19. For chi-square is equal to 6 minus 19 squared divided by 6 plus 19, we have 6.76. This is our computed value. For the decision rule, if the computed value is greater than the tabular value, we reject the null hypothesis. For our conclusion, since the computed value of 6.76 is greater than or beyond the tabular value of 3.841 at 0 0.05 level of significance, with one degree of freedom, we reject the null hypothesis. There is 
a significant difference in the use of seatbelt before and after involvement in an automobile accident.